Hi, I'm Jake Shaw with Kern Laser Systems. Our CO2 laser systems, when equipped with the metal cutting option, are capable of cutting a variety of types and thicknesses of metals. The wattage of laser will dictate the types of metal, the thicknesses, and how fast the metal can be cut. Today I'd like to show you the techniques needed for a quality cut on 18 gauge mild steel. Today we'll be working with a 400 watt CO2 laser on one of our OptiFlex laser systems. We will use shop air as an assist gas and our 2.5 inch V-Focus lens assembly. Before getting started, make sure to wear your certified laser safety glasses. Start by removing the paper and aluminum honeycomb from the table bed and insert the metal cutting grid work. Make sure to have the 2.5 inch V focus assembly installed and the sensor wire connected from the focus assembly to the height follower sensor. There are three key factors for successfully processing metals with our laser. The first is the laser beam must be centered through the copper nozzle. Number two, the focus point must be set at a distance of 10 to 20 thousandths from the copper nozzle to the material being processed. And number three, Use the proper KKM parameters and assist gas. Most often, the cause of unsuccessful metal cutting is due to the laser beam being misaligned through the nozzle and using or having the incorrect focus gap. We've gone ahead and centered the laser beam and set the focus gap already. For current customers, please access our tutorial videos for details on the focal adjustment and beam centering of the V-Focus assembly. Place the piece of mild steel onto the metal cutting grid work. Load the file you want to cut into Corel. Make sure to create a lead-in for the part being cut. Process the file from Corel to KCAM. In KCAM, go to Settings and select the Vector Colors tab. Our part has a red hairline outline to it, so we must enable the color red. Enter a speed of 2 inches per second, a power of 100%, 1000 for the frequency and set the laser start percent to 20. On the vector settings tab, enter a start delay of 0.05 seconds. Set the type of assist gas to air and set the air pressure for the start delay to 25 psi. Set the air pressure to 25 psi for the height follower delay and uncheck the box for between parts. Set the assist gas to air and pressure to 150 PSI for during cutting. Once set, click OK. Open the cut menu and enable the cut vector, disable engrave image, and enable the height follower. Make sure the height follower switch, found on the left side of the top gantry, is in the on position. Click on the manual feature and manually drive the focus assembly so it's positioned over the material and to the lower left corner of where you want your part to cut. In the upper left corner of the manual screen, select lower left extents from the drop down menu. Next, click on set user offset to this position. This will move the cut file to this location. Click on open engrave dialog and when ready, click start. If you have a different wattage laser or a different thickness of material, please contact your current salesman or current technical support for assistance.